Meantime, here in news, a crime tracker alert for you. An Eaton couple facing dozens of charges for child molestation, abuse, and neglect. We've learned at least one of those cases dates back decades, and Fox 59's Darius Johnson has been digging through those public records the last two days. He's learning what led to these charges. I learned the couple worked as babysitters, but they were not licensed, and this is actually the home where children were taken care of and where police say the alleged crimes took place. Gut-wrenching details being revealed through court documents showing decades of alleged child molestation rocking the small town of Eaton, Indiana. Anytime you see anything like that, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible thing to investigate and to, and to see. Um, nobody wins. There's no winners in this. On July 2nd, police were called to investigate a possible case of child molestation. Eden Police Chief Jay Turner became the lead investigator. First victim was a seven-year-old little girl. Uh, her mother brought her forward and her uh, non-paternal grandmother uh, who was very concerned about what was taking place. Uh, different things that had happened in their home. The unlicensed babysitters now facing charges are Todd and Tanya Reed. The seven year old said Todd molested her the same day he was arrested. Court documents claim he told investigators the little girl was the aggressor and he molested her five times. I think the, the main thing that I saw was during interviews was the innocence that was gone and hopefully she'll be able to gain that back. On July 9th, two more accusers came forward. Some of the cases date back into the 80s. One says Todd molested her when Tanya would leave. Reed admitted to molesting her 11 times. The other says he'd reach up her nightgown and stare at her while she was in the shower. Investigators say after more victims came forward, Reed confessed. He now faces 22 counts of child molestation, sexual gratification, and sexual battery. Needless to say, they were, they were things that, uh, that would make you cringe. Um, as a grandfather, as you know, father and grandfather, it, it was sickening to, to hear some of the things and just to watch. One girl alleges she told Tanya, but documents claim she did nothing. She is now facing charges of child abuse for failure to report and neglect of a dependent. So far, a total of nine girls have told their stories. Child predators, that, this is what they, they prey on the innocence and the, the guilt, I, I guess you would say, of, of people wanting, you know, being able to come forward and, and, and saying anything. Tanya has since made bail. Todd is being held at the Delaware County Jail on a half a million dollars bond. If convicted of all charges, he could face up to life in prison. In the meantime, Eden Police Department are asking if there are more victims to please come forward. Reporting in Eden this evening, Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News. Darius, thank you. There really aren't any words here for this case. Well, the group Prevent Child Abuse Indiana says there are various types of mistreatment, but it is important that you look out for different behavior, patterns, bruises. And when it comes to sexual abuse, advocates say it's important your child knows their body. Please keep that in mind. Make sure your child knows about body safety. Make sure they know the appropriate names of their body parts. We find that children who are knowledgeable about these things, that perpetrators tend to leave those children alone. Now, along with that, make sure that you vet babysitters, check policies. Advocates say if you see signs, do not hesitate to report it. You can call the Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline. That number is 1-800-855-56. Again, the number 1-800-855-56. The key is knowing what to look for and being vigilant.